Setting everything right to have a world-class sporting event in your backyard is no easy task. Curiosity peaks concerning the venues to welcome athletes and spectators. So is Pyeongchang ready to welcome the world? Cha sang updates us on the progress made with the Olympics facilities constructions. 2011, South Korea's Pyeongchang was named the host city of the 2018 Winter Olympics. And since then, the Korean government has been busy working to transform the mountainous county of Pyeongchang into an Asian sports hub. After unceasing efforts, the region is now almost ready to welcome its Olympic guests. The construction of competition and non-competition venues is 99% complete. We plan to do our best to complete the venues during the remaining 100 days. The games are held in two different areas. Snow sports such as ski jumping and the biathlon will be held at the Pyeongchang Mountain Cluster. And the ice sports such as curling and ice hockey will take place at the Gangneung Coastal Cluster. Altogether, the 12 competition venues and non-competition sites make up the winter sports belt. Here's a look at some of the major competition venues. The Gangneung Hockey Center has a capacity of 10,009 with nearly 150 handicapped seats. The closest seats are just 1.6 meters from the rink, allowing the audience to even hear the sounds of the players breathing. Some good news for the athletes. The supplementary stadium is just 18 meters away from the venue, and 12 locker rooms allow participants to get enough rest, even on days with a full game schedule. The Alpensia Ski Jumping Center is where fans will see the mesmerizing sight of athletes soaring through the air. The venue has been carefully thought out to help the skiers prepare for their jumps. Our venue has an athlete center design. It takes just 10 minutes to get here from the athlete village, and the routes are very compact so they can focus on games. The Olympics organizing committee manager says they have prepared extra snow in case there is a thaw due to warm weather, and they've set up a large wind net to help shelter the athletes from the effects of the wind. And now to some of the non-competition venues. The Olympic Plaza will serve as a gathering place for the opening and closing ceremonies. In the center of the plaza is the cauldron, the symbol of the Olympics, which will be lit during the opening ceremony. So here we have uh, the stadiums made of 35,000 seats, and you can see that there's several stories here. Uh, it was completed at the end of September. It's a great environment, and you know it's a great place to hold the ceremonies. So where are the participants staying during the month-long games? This is Gangneung Athlete Village, a temporary home for some 2,700 athletes and organizers involved in the Winter Olympics. The village consists of two main sections, the residential buildings and an operational section, which includes a doctor's clinic, a bank, and a shopping center. The 922 to 25 story buildings make up some 900 housing units, and four to five participants will be sharing each unit. The buildings are built with state-of-the-art technology. Firefighting, heating and water supply systems are perfectly arranged. It provides a pleasant residential environment for the participants. When it comes to the post-games plans for these venues, the Olympics organizing committee expresses their hope to leave them a legacy for the region, packed with tourists throughout the four seasons. It would be a big gain if we could provide health and healing experiences, making use of the legacy of the games to connect the resources and landmarks that Gangwon-do province has. Just the final touches need putting in place, and in around 100 days, these venues will be packed with fans cheering on their Olympic heroes. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News, Pyeongchang.